Hi and welcome. Let us read through the critical appreciation of fire and ice written by Robert Frost. The main idea is that Robert, Fro that Robert Frost in his poem Fire and Ice expresses the philosophical notion that the world would either end in two ways. One is by ice and the other is by fire. Both the natural machineries are compared with self-destructive human emotions, hatred and desire. Artistically, the poet underpins the viewpoint that one lets the emotions rule oneself and it, if one doesn't control, these emotions will lead it to destruction, which would definitely mean that similarly he thinks that fire and ice both are just agents in bringing the world to a catastrophic end. The poet expresses the philosophical idea that the world would end in either of two ways, either by ice, by ice or fire. One group is of the opinion that somebody, someday the earth's core will get so heated up that it would lead to fire, destroying the earth's surface which sketches the picture of the doomsday. On the other hand, the second group holds the opinion that if the temperature can go down to an extent that makes life on earth impossible, it would have the same catastrophic end that life will cease to exist. The poet then compares fire and ice with the destructive features of human emotions, desire and hatred. He states that he is aware of the fiery desires. He would favor the ones who say that it would be fire. By saying so, he brings about the idea that human brings uh, let their emotions rule them and the consequences of the unmonitored longing is chaos. Then by not waving off the first option of fire, he considered he considers if the world has to expire twice, ice would be equally competent in ending it. He brings about the co contrast between ice and hatred. The human capability of insensitivity and hatred has the potential for inner destruction. Though slow and steady, it has the same effect that desire has on us. So if Given an option between fire and ice, ice would be just as good as fire to destroy the world. The rhyme scheme is A B A A B C B C B. There are a fair number of poetic devices in the poem, namely symbolism, as assonance, alliteration, imagery, anaphora, personification, and enchantment. Let's explore the poetic devices. Symbolism, when one thing stands for another, the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities, an artistic and poetic movement or style using symbolic images and indirect suggestions to express mystical ideas, emotions and states of mind. This was an explanation of what is symbolism. Now let's see what is happening in the poem. According to Robert Frost, fire is symbolic of greed, conflict, fury, cru cruelty, lust and avarice. Whereas ice is symbolic of insensitivity, coldness, intolerance, indifference, rigidity, and hatred. Assonance. It is repetition of vowel sounds in same in the same line. The repetition is at different places in different words. Example: the long sound of O in I hold with those who favor fire. The O sound in hold and the O sound in those is assonance. Alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the consonant sound at the start of two or more closely placed words. For example, the sound of F in favor, fire. W in world, will. Imagery. Imagery is used to make readers perceive things involving their five senses. For example, some say the world will end in fire. To say that for destruction, ice is also great. Anaphora, the repetition of a word or expression at the start of two or more consecutive lines. For example, some say is repeated at the start of line 1 and 2. Personification is to give some human qualities or inanimate objects. In this poem, fire and ice are capable of destruction, thus the poet personifies fire and ice by giving them 
mind and power to destroy anything enjambment it is defined as the thought or clause that does not come to an end at the end of the line break rather it moves on to the next line for example from what i have tasted of desire we can see that there is no comma no full stop no punctuation after desire thus the idea continues i hold with those who favor fire fire and ice the poem is given for the students reference and let us let us explore the rhyme scheme the sound the rhyme the sound of fire we uh, denote it with a the sound ice we denote with b desire has the same rhyme ending rhyme ending sound just like fire so we write a again fire uh, is rhyming with desire thus a again so the rhyme scheme is a b a b let's explore the second stanza twice it's a new sound so we associate b with it twice sorry twice is rhyming with ice so we associate b with it a is a new sound so we write c for it ice is repeated just like twice and ice so we write the word the word the b write the b sound with the letter b great writes with uh, rhymes with hate so we write c and suffix writes with rhymes with ice so we write the rhyme scheme is b c b c b thank you